Over the past eight days, our nation has felt the repercussions of destructive attitudes and pernicious racism. Destructive attitudes and racism find their heritage in evil. And what drives them are not only men's evil hearts, but literal demonic principalities that are intent on destroying God's prized possession who he sent his son to die for, and that's mankind. On behalf of Chi Alpha Nation today, I want to express our love and our commitment to all of our African-American brothers and sisters who face the horrors of the fruit of racism every day. Today, we acknowledge the veracity of this truth and stand with you and our African-American students on our campuses and with their families and with their communities. Yesterday, I had a conversation with my barber who happens to be African-American and while I was sitting there with him, I just asked him just the question. I said, I'd like you to be real honest with me. Um, tell me, man, what's coming down in the community? And he just began to unfold a 300 century old narrative to me with passion and, and authenticity that was raw and it was emotional. So he began to share what was happening all the way from the 1700s that has led us to where we are today. And after all of our dialogue for an hour and 15 minutes, it really was more of a monologue as I just stopped and I listened to what he had to say. And I asked my friend, what can I do to serve you? How can I be a blessing to you. And with every bit of honesty, he looked and he said, I don't think you can. But there's one thing that you can do. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. And I said to my friend, did you know that you just quoted Jesus? We had an incredible discussion about God's purposes and plans and our behaviors in the midst of all the things that are stirring amongst us today. I call on all Chi Alphans, our missionaries, our students, our alumni, our supporters, to process all of our responses and our reactions through the lens of Jesus. And I go back to a few decades ago, what would Jesus do? And let's process that. Let's say what Jesus would say. Let's do what Jesus would do. And let's treat others the way that we want to be treated. So all of our African-American brothers and sisters want you to know on behalf of Chi Alpha Nation, we love you. We stand with you. We appreciate you.